Barcelona has gifted so many incredible talents to football. Leo Messi, Andres Iniesta, Xabi, Guardiola, the list goes on and on. But some players nearly lost their careers at the hands of the Blaugrana. Here are 10 wonder kids almost ruined by Barcelona. Number 1. Xabi Simons He had the talent and the style and even the name of a legend going for him. But somehow, Xabi Simons didn't become a household name for Barca. The Dutchman was so talented that he made his first ever move back when he was just 7 years old. And it was none other than the Catalans who secured his service. Captaining almost every single age group he played for at the Blaugrana, Simons was believed to be the next big thing in Barcelona's midfield. But no one could have guessed that his talents and aspirations would lead him out of the club he loved the most. Always eager to play and hasty to do so, Simons was motivated to start games even before he turned 18. But Barca had other ideas. As people all around the world criticized Simons for his move to join PSG, blaming him for choosing money over success, the young Dutchman soon got the playtime he always wanted. Well, kind of. The talented midfielder has joined PSV last summer on a permanent deal. But PSG has a buyback option of around $15 million. The Parisians will look to use that option as fast as possible, as Simons has already racked up 16 goals and 8 assists this season. How about Barcelona? Well, they'll have to look for another Xavi. Number 2. Frankie de Jong It's no secret that Barcelona is in a tight spot when it comes to finances. And despite their recent success, debts are a looming threat for the Catalans. A man who had little to no responsibility for those debts is Frankie de Jong, but the talented midfielder was at one point being threatened by his own club. After signing a two-year extension under the presidency of Josep Maria Bartomeu, de Jong was set to make north of $15 million per season. Barcelona's balance sheets, but more importantly the returning president Juan Laporta, didn't like that one bit. Trying to rip up de Jong's existing contract and revert back to the previous terms he signed in 2019, Laporta low-key bullied de Jong and nearly forced the 25-year-old out of the club. Many reports suggested that after Eric Ten Hag's arrival at Man United, de Jong was UK-bound for a price tag of over $84 million. But thankfully, Xavi and probably an army of financial mediation experts convinced de Jong to stay. Not too long ago, the gifted maestro declared his desire to stay in Barcelona for a decade more. So, it kind of worked out in both parties' favor in the end. Number 3. Ousmane Dembele It's been a while, but fans of either the Frenchman or Barcelona would remember Dembele was signed as a replacement for Neymar. That tells you enough about both the potential of the winger back when he signed and the expectations his new club had of him. Dembele had the talent and Barcelona had the desire to make him shine as brightly as possible. But things didn't work out the way they were planned, at least for a few years. While Camp No residents expected Dembele to shine, the Frenchman was busy playing video games, partying, or trying to get back to fitness after his umpteenth injury. So, when he refused the terms of a new contract, he practically became a persona non grata. Dembele was very vocal about the way the club treated him, as he had the guts to take it to Instagram and say, I'm not a man who cheats, and even less so one who's used to giving in to blackmail. Dembele's contract situation seems to be in a better place as he's tied to Blagrana until 2014. But there's this lingering feeling that things could very well go wrong again. Number 4. Tiago Alcantara Andres Iniesta and Xavi Hernandez are two of the very best things that ever happened to Barcelona. The legendary duo was a gift to the Catalans all right, but they were also the curse of so many talented midfielders, and Tiago Alcantara was among them. Graduating from La Masia and seen as a potential to replace either Xavi or Iniesta, Alcantara did get some playtime with the Blaugrana, but he never made the breakthrough Barca was counting on. Or you could say there was no better player than Xavi or Iniesta back when they were in their prime. Thiago was facing a tough choice. He was either going to accept being a bench warmer for the two greats, or he would go on to build a career of his own. Luckily for himself, Bayern Munich and Pep Guardiola, Thiago chose the second option and had a fantastic seven-year-long stint at Bayern Munich. What else is there to say apart from props for the courage he showed to avoid being ruined? Number 5. Adama Traore Denial is not easy to cope with, and sensing that you're unwanted is not the best feeling in the world. Adama Traore felt that way not once, but twice, all thanks to Barcelona, the place he called home. Yikes! The 145th La Masia graduate to wear the iconic jersey, Traore made his debut in 2013 with Barcelona, but failed to impress later on. The upper echelons of football was deemed unreachable at the time for the winger. 
So he decided to work from the ground up. He even rebuilt his whole body during the process and became one of the most dangerous wingers on the planet. Thanks to his sheer athleticism and incredible power, the doors of Blaugrana were reopened to Traore as he joined the Catalans from the Wolves with an option to buy. Sadly, the option was never used by Barcelona, as once again financial troubles bound them hand and foot. Traore is struggling since his return to Wolves, as he has had only four goal contributions in over 30 games this season. But you can never count the Spaniard out, can you? Number 6. Takefsa Kubo Between 2011 and 2015, Japanese wonder kid Take Kubo was in Barcelona's youth program. The Japanese forward was highly rated, and sooner or later, everyone in Camp Nou was convinced that he would become a senior player. It did not happen, and then some. First, Kubo went back to Japan to make his pro debut. He had to, actually, because Barcelona were sanctioned for illegal signing of youth players. In a short period of time with FC Tokyo, he repeaked the interest of European clubs, including not only his formative club, but also El Clasico rivals Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain. Barcelona wanted to buy back Kubo, but they were beaten by Real Madrid for it. Kubo was not only denied to join his club, as Pep Guardiola would put it, but he also had to settle with its arch rival. That wasn't the worst part, though. Los Blancos loaned the heck out of Kubo in successive seasons. But thankfully, the 21-year-old Japanese finally found his footing in Real Sociedad. Number 7. Mauro Icardi The Argentinian did his best to make it work at La Masia, arriving at the club's world-famous academy the same year his compatriot named Lionel Andres made his senior debut. Icardi's qualities were evident. Maxi Lopez, who was photographed while signing a jersey for Icardi, wasn't aware of all the qualities of little Mauro, if you know what I mean. Hashtag Wanda Nara love triangle. A brilliant center forward who had the physical capacity to battle it out with central defenders, and once in the box, a deadly goal scorer. But back then, these were not the qualities Barcelona would look for in a forward, thus making Icardi's case in the Blaugrana less and less interesting. Leaving La Masia to join Sampdoria, the Argentinian striker went on to become a Serie A phenomenon, and even led Inter Milan as the team's captain at Camp Nou against Barcelona. Number 8. Gerard de Lufeu Gerard de Lufeu made his senior debut with Barcelona back in 2013, and since then, the 29-year-old Spaniard has made 15 moves back and forth between Barcelona and all the clubs across England and Italy on seemingly endless loan deals. One thing stayed the same, though, his not-so-great time at Barcelona. De Lufeu either ran the course of his loan contract and got back to Barca, or he impressed at the club he was loaned and got a callback from the Catalans. But he never really did meet expectations. Udinese's number 10 was honest about his past, though. He said in 2018 that Barca's flop was his own fault. Number 9. Ricardo Quaresma Frank Rijkaard was a difficult manager to please, and Ricardo Quaresma was never the easiest player to manage. So when the two men met at Barcelona, there were really two ways that it could go. Either through some miracle it was going to work, or they would end up waging war against each other. And the second scenario turned out to be true, and Quaresma packed his bags. He was far from being ruined, though, as he made himself a respectable career in Europe. Just not in Barcelona. Number 10. Mikel Arteta Let's take a long, long flashback and talk about Mikel Arteta and Barcelona. Growing up in the ranks of La Masia, Mikel Arteta was sandwiched between two legends, Xabi Hernandez and Andres Iniesta. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. Like no other player in the history of the world could, Arteta too failed to make a name for himself among the two club legends. His loan move to PSG and the later tour around the UK was enough to prove his worth, though. And no one can say that Barca ruined him, because that's exactly where he met his coaching idol, Pep Guardiola. And we all know how it turned out for the young manager at the end. Well, that's about it for this episode. Before we leave, make sure to let us know who your favorite player is out of the 10 listed in this video. These players were all lucky and they escaped being ruined. But if you want 8 not-so-lucky players ruined by Real Madrid, check out this video. And thanks for watching.